Hi, I'm Doug Acker. I'm here at Forest River Plant 83 Impression, and I'm going to take you on a plant tour today of the uh, of production and how this product is built. We're actually here at a perfect time for us to film this, uh, with production being down in between the holidays. Uh, so what happens first off here um, is the chassis are going to be prepped outside, come in through this door behind us, uh, or we'll start getting uh, into some of the wiring, putting in some of the tanks, um, and really just starting to prep this unit. Um, so we will start with uh, putting on the tires, they'll bolt on the tires so we can start rolling this thing down the line. Um, <clears throat> we'll start putting in some of the motors with the jacks, um, start running some of your plumbing. Um, for example here we've got our gray tank uh, with a valve here so we can uh, release uh, our gray water. They start setting these tanks, so you got a gray tank here, fresh water tank, um, and a black tank and a gray tank up here as well. Um, <clears throat> as we are kind of going through this process, you're just going to see that every station through this assembly line is just going to keep adding more and more. Um, as you can also see here, that's already set, are these underbelly panels. So what we have is the accessibility, which makes it really easy to service. Um, so underneath here, you can see that we've got a piece of wood for all of these panels that are four by eight sheets. So these are all connected and screwed into this piece of wood right here on every section. So that makes it very simple for uh, whether it's a customer or a dealer who needs to get under here and say work on this tank um, or work on some piece of wiring. Um, they can access that point as they need to very easy. So we're gonna keep rolling through down um, through chassis prep as you can see, like I said, we're going to start running some of that wiring um, through the chassis, everything that we're running through the floor. We're going to start with, uh, uh, with some of your furnace ducts as well. are going to start being prepped also, as you can see here. Um, we've got the flexible uh, furnace ducts. <clears throat> it's going to be start being ran through. Some of your plumbing's already being set as well. Getting everything ready for that plumbing station, um, the electrical stations as well. We're just going to kind of get everything ready here um, at these stations. So here we've got our floors. These are laminated floors. Um, so you can see that there's a, they're uh, made with aluminum, uh, which is welded together. Uh, you'll have a piece of uh, Luon here on the bottom and a piece, piece of uh, plywood on top <clears throat> that we'll set. They already have it routed out there. Um, for, um, for, for example, your sink basin, they'll already start having that routed out. You'll have your Darko wrap, which will go on the bottom of the floor, um, which will be a protective barrier. Um, even though we already have that underbelly I pointed out, we'll also have a protective barrier for this floor. <coughs> Here's our linoleum. They'll start prepping everything as well. Um, here they will actually lay down the glue uh, for this linoleum. They'll get it all spread out, have that uh, laid down. We use Congolium on our products, uh, a product that's extremely durable. Um, it's not going to tear, rip very easily. Um, it's really hard to, uh, um, to really get through that, cut through that with a, uh, even a Stanley knife is tough for me. Um, it's also resistant to cold cracking as well. Um, so they'll lay that all down here. They'll take this hoist up top. As they roll this unit down here, they'll take that hoist, move that floor onto that chassis. Um, <clears throat> they'll bolt it down, get that ready to move on to the next station as well. Now here you can see where that floor is already laid. So here in this floor, it's laid, it's ready to go. They started pulling all these wires that they need uh, to get through. They'll also start pulling, see these furnace ducts through where they need. Um, they'll start setting, um, setting also, for example, this uh, back felt board as well, that's, which is gonna separate your pass through to your, uh, under your gooseneck storage. So coming on to the next station, As I said, you'll just see more and more happening. So we've already got wires ran through here. That's gonna be for your running lights, for your uh, auto level, uh, your, battery, your battery disconnect, all that stuff. So here you've just got more that's set. 
They're gonna start building their, your mid decks as well here where they'll start setting those from here in that next station along with your upper deck uh, floors. So here you can see they, they started this mid deck, still aluminum structure um, as well. They'll put the carpet pad and carpet down up there for our bedrooms, which makes it nice when you get out of bed, you're not stepping on cold linoleum. Good size floor decking here. Um, so kind of start seeing it come together. This is gonna be our pass through area um, that you'll see. So into our next station, you'll see that they're gonna start setting cabinets and walls. So let's slide through here. So you're gonna start seeing cabinets being set um, and we're gonna get into where all the plumbing is gonna be, uh, be getting to. So you got your walls going up for your bathrooms, uh, your bedrooms, transitioning into different rooms as well. This is gonna be our front living floor plan. So you've got your, uh, you've got your mechanism here, which will bring your TV up and out of a cabinet that's gonna be set, that's right there. That's kind of just waiting to be put on. Now you start seeing some plumbing that's gonna start happening. As you can tell right there where that pipe is coming up through the wall. You're gonna start having your sinks being hooked up. It's a lot easier to do all of your plumbing when you don't have all the sidewalls on. So you'll have all of your plumbing done here in the next couple stations. So as we continue on this next unit that we'll see, it will also have, it will also have more plumbing and everything being finished off. See, you've got your convenience center that's being done. You've got your furnaces, your water heaters uh, that are all being installed here in these sections. So once we're done with setting all the plumbing, setting all the cabinet work, we're gonna push this down, down the line this way, where we will set our sidewalls. So here with impression, we have uh, 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 laminated sidewalls along with laminated floors that we saw over there. Um, so we've got our sidewall cart here. These are already organized for what's coming down the line. So they'll use these hoists that are gonna be right up here and over here. They use these hoists to put those sidewalls on. They'll do them one side at a time. Um, they'll make sure those are secured. And <clears throat> then we'll move into putting on this, the uh, uh, rear wall. And along with, we'll start doing a lot of other things. As you'll see in this station, we've got trim that's ready to be uh, put on. Uh, in places, we still got some cabinets that are being set as well to those side walls that we need. So for example, this cabinet here is gonna be set to that side wall um, where obviously in cabinet set, side wall wasn't there. So this one's already had its rear wall built. Um, this and the roof are the only things that are not going to be laminated together. Um, so this is going to make it, as you'll see down there, very easy for us to run our wiring through our back wall. Um, as you do have running lights, you've got outlets, you've got a lot going on um, as we're running that, uh, that electrical through here. These sidewalls will be right here. Very easy to be installed um, here with those sidewalls. So now we're heading upstairs where we're going to see where our roofs are going to be installed. Um, you're going to see our trusses. You'll see uh, uh, the wiring, air ducts, all that happening up here. So here you can see they're, they've already taken these off of where they're, they're gonna install these panels to your trusses. So you've got your ceiling board here that you'll see on the inside of the coach and you've got your trusses at 16 inch on center. Um, so they will install them actually in this section and they'll move that down. Um, so as they move these units down the line, <clears throat> you'll start seeing electrical being put in. So here we've got bins of all the electrical. Might have seen this down there, but all these wires are color coded. So we actually have a color coded system of what goes to what, um, so that when we're going through or a, ser a service call is coming in, something electrical might be wrong, we're gonna be able to identify that very quickly of what's going to where. Same with somebody at the dealership who's trying to figure out an electrical issue. They'll be able to know what goes to what. So moving down to this next station, you'll start seeing our ducts being put in. 
our air ducts. So ACs are not installed yet, but they're gonna start putting in that H-Track system that we use. Um, on our product, we always have a 15K AC standard in the living, living room, bedroom. Um, we also have a 13.5 option for the bedrooms. Um, so as you can kind of see where those holes are already started to be, uh, the hole for the AC to drop in is already there. The H-Track system's already set. <clears throat> With all the testing that Forest River has done, we've found that the H-Track um, is the superior system to use, especially on a bigger fifth wheel. So now, like I said, just more and more happening. Um, as you'll see more wiring, you'll see the uh, stick pipes coming up through the roof um, and just more and more being done down in there as well. Um, you can also see just uh, overlooking, we've got our window boxes that have been put in down at the bottom. Um, and down at the bottom, more just uh, uh, kind of putting the inside together is happening while these guys are working, what guys and girls are working on the roof. So down here is where you'll start seeing a little bit more happening. So here you've got your 5 8 roof decking that's going to be set onto the roof where that rubber roof is going to be, uh, be pulled over on the top. You can see on the other end down here that after this roof decking and then we've got the astral foil that's going to be laid over the top, you'll see that uh, that rubber roof is going to be pulled down. It'll be stretched out on top of that roof decking, uh, smoothed down, and it'll be... Uh, making sure that that's secure. One thing that we do at our plant that uh, others don't is we'll actually pull that, uh, that uh, uh, rubber roof over the top, underneath the cap. So when that cap gets secured, um, that will uh, hold that a lot tighter, and better, and not allow for any wind to get under that. So here, <clears throat> you'll see where it was just pulled through. They started pulling a couple of the wiring through for the next section for uh, next station for the ACs, roof vents, antennas, skylights, all being put into the next station on the scaffolding, with the scaffolding being here. So the cap's already been installed down on the floor. As you can see, we've got the nice windshield with the cap, and that's getting secured here. You've got the rail that's already put on, and you might be able to see it here with the um, self-leveler going on there to keep any leaks out from uh, where we've installed that rail with that cap. All right, now we can go downstairs and we'll kind of see uh, slide outs and what's going on to the next stations. So down here, you'll have the uh, cabinets being worked into that'll go into, worked on to go into your slide outs. Um, so you'll, like I said, production's down so we can kind of see how that process works. Uh, for example, here is a wardrobe slide that's ready to go, ready to be put in. Um, this is going to be a bunk slide uh, behind it. Um, it looks like there's a couple bunk slides that are just ready to be installed. Here's going to be some slides that are ready to be installed for the main, uh, your main sofa slide where you'll have your sofa and your uh, dinette and chairs. So they've already got this one set up. Um, they put these in. <clears throat> As they put these in, there's gonna be still just more and more being put on. Um, where you will slide it down here. We'll also have checks throughout the whole plant. Um, we'll have checks down there after plumbing. We've got a check over here midline and a check going out this door um, as well where the QCs will be uh, making sure that everything is done correctly. So once we've got the slide out set up here, we're actually gonna take this out into our second building. We'll have final finish uh, work off the final product. All right, so we made it over here to final finish. Um, so over here, as you can see, more stations coming through this building. Um, we've got uh, trim going in. You've got uh, uh, all of your appliances. They're doing a system check over here, making sure all the electrical work uh, works. Um, they're filling the tanks with water. They're uh, also blowing out all those lines making sure they're putting antifreeze in every unit. Um, so pretty much everything in this building is putting on the final touches to get that final product to walk out the door. Um, and then we'll actually take it over to uh, our own PDI line just for our facility, um, where every single impression is gonna get 
a second look at it to make sure that it is actually ready to go, ready to ship, uh, and be ready for the customer to buy. All right, so now we're over here at uh, the Forest River Impressions PDI line. This uh, PDI stands for pre-delivery inspection. So as it greens out through the final finish door, we take every single unit down this line to again look for fit and finish, making sure everything looks good. Um, we do a second systems check, make sure all the electrical works properly. Um, we also do something really cool that not every plant does and especially not on every single unit. <clears throat> so right here what this machine does is we put this door on, the exterior door, and it pressurizes that unit. So before we turn that machine on, we take this soapy water, we put it all over all of your windows, all of your doors, anywhere where we might have punctured a hole in your roof, your sidewall, anywhere. Put water on that, that soapy water. Um, we pressurize that unit and we look for bubbles. Um, so now if we find any bubbles, anything like that, something may need to be resealed. Um, maybe it needs to just be corrected and put in the right, uh, uh, the right way. Uh, so that's one check that we do uh, to ensure that uh, we try to cut down any leaks um, that, that's as much as possible on that unit. Um, and then after that happens, obviously, it also kind of cleans the unit as well. Uh, we've got all this water that we're getting drained out um, as we are pumping a decent amount of water on there, spraying that all off. Uh, reseal anything that we need to that we're catching. Um, going down this line, we can fit uh, about five units um, where we're pushing those out that door. And once it comes out, that door gets the quality control stamp of approval. It is ready to ship to the dealership and it is ready for the customer to purchase. So that is the plant tour of Forest River Impression. If you have any uh, questions or looking for any other information, go to forestriverinc.com slash impression. You can contact us there. Thank you for taking your time out of the day to uh, hang out with me for a little bit.